Uh, Emily Ducote, I'm at American Top Team Oklahoma City, and current record is 5-2. and two. I knew she was going to be strong, tough, just kind of, you know, try and pull me down and just kind of, you know, smother me. Um, so we were expecting that. We trained exactly for that, and uh, we were ready for her type of takedowns, uh, more power takedowns. And uh, and then, you know, my ground, we're just, we're always working my ground. So we had a... a a lot of my team at Windstar that night, so we celebrated there and uh, then got back and uh, my family had come out, my grandma was there for a few days, so just kind of some some relaxing time, eating whatever I wanted and just family time. Yeah, we're excited. Um, if you know me, you know our team, you know we like to take uh, opportunities and it uh, doesn't matter who it is, where they train, where they're from, where they've been, uh, we just look for the opportunity and, you know, they ask, we say yes. We we like to fight. We like to fight often. We like to fight whoever's at the top. Um, so we're very excited for this fight. We had a, a lot of time to prepare. Uh, I think they announced it probably eight weeks ago. Um, so ten weeks and um, full camp. You know, long camp. Very excited and uh, just can't wait. Two weeks and very excited. I've watched her fights. You know, before we knew we were fighting. Uh, She's a name that you just watch. Um, so I've seen her stuff, you know, when she was fighting. I think she's very technical, very tough, very durable. And um, I think she she uh, she's well-rounded, but I think she likes to strike. So um, I think that's probably where she'll want to be. And um, we've prepared. I don't need to take it to the ground to win. I feel like uh, we've prepared my striking, my wrestling, and my grappling. So, you know, I don't feel like, oh my gosh, if I don't get it to the ground, I'm not going to win this fight. So, you know, I think um, just I just want to show everything will be ready. You know, I don't have to get it to the ground like some people are thinking. You know, uh, I've trained for this past 10 weeks, everything. And so everything, the goal is to have everything sharp and ready. Yeah, I thought about it at first. It might be a little weird, but my coach uh, mentioned, you know, there's too many people at American Top Team um, not fight people um, because their gym, that base out in Florida, is just huge. Um, you know, and so I've never trained with her. I've never seen her in real life. So really, um, it was a little weird, but then, you know, we got over it. You know, there's so many people. So, you know, eventually you're going to have to fight somebody. I think, you know, they knew they couldn't just give her a Lima versus, you know, for the title straight. A lot of people talk crap, you know, she had to fight somebody. She had to, she had to fight and she has to beat somebody who's in the top to, you know, go fight a Lima for the belt if that's what they're thinking they're going to do. So, you know, she had to fight somebody first and um, I'm glad they chose me because I'm excited. Uh, Big names, big fights doesn't really phase me. Uh, I learned a lot when I fought Alima and I lost. So I feel like um, I'm looking at this, you know, just another girl, just another opportunity. Um, I feel like I've used this camp to really tune everything up. And, uh, you know, I can't say, oh, this is how I'm going to win. This is how it's going to go. But what I can say with confidence is that it will be the best Gordinia you've seen. So I'm just really excited to show all my improvements and, uh, like I said, just very excited that they chose me. And, uh, yeah, uh, she's getting a big push. And, you know, I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> a lot of the people I have fought, I've been the underdog every time in my Bellator fights. So, really, that stuff is just kind of, we've got used to being the underdog. Yeah, everything's good. I still got my grilled cheese on my diet. Uh, you know, we're, we're in the range where um, it won't be bad. Uh, a nice cut. Um still eating everything good and training properly and just pretty smooth smooth cut like last time my coaches at american top team and rival boxing okc giuliano danny tj and nikki have been amazing all my training partners that have spent you know extra time with me i'm just very thankful i've got century martial arts asn supplement store express cryo uh real massages and my uh my apparel for a wit uh, has been awesome and uh I'm on Instagram mostly, and uh, that's about it.